guys, welcome back to my channel for an all day clean with me. It was an absolutely beautiful day here in New England. Those days have been so few and far between and I wanted to make sure to soak that up as much as possible and get tons of cleaning done as well. Something about the warm weather and sunshine just really motivates me to get it all done. So I was cleaning in 20 to 30 minute bursts throughout the entire day and taking frequent breaks to enjoy the spring weather. I hope that this video provides you with so much cleaning motivation. If you're excited for this week's all day clean, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I post cleaning videos every week. I decided to start with my kitchen on this day. I do like to try to switch it up when I'm filming a video so that it doesn't get boring for you guys. But if I'm being completely real, the kitchen is always where I start when I'm cleaning and I'm not filming. It's just the part of my house that usually needs the most attention. And it just feels really good when your kitchen is clean and it feels like it gets me motivated and gets the ball rolling for me to clean up the rest of my place. If you haven't been to my channel before or you haven't been here in a while, I just recently became a single mom and my son Carson and I moved out into this apartment. I want to say we've been here for a little less than two months. It's starting to feel more like home every single day, but I still have so much work I need to do on this place to make it kind of what I want, at least for now, because apartment living is definitely not in the plan forever. I cannot wait to get Carson and I a house someday. But so far, we have really been enjoying it and we're settling in and not gonna lie, the whole situation that's going on really in the entire world right now has kind of helped with that because we're home all the time. So it's really hard to not feel like you're at home when you spend 24 seven somewhere. I love that we have this little patio area outside because when it's nice out, which like I said, those days have been few and far between, you would really think that mother nature would catch on to what's going on in the world and she'd just give us some nice weather so we can get outside because that's about the only thing we can do right now. But that's besides the point. So we've really been loving having this patio area. When it's nice outside, I can just open up the door and Carson can go play outside while I'm trying to get stuff done inside and I can still see him. I like this a lot because we didn't have something like this in our old house. Our old house was a raised ranch. So in order for you to go outside, you had to go out onto a big deck that I was terrified of Carson falling off of down the stairs and into the yard that was not fenced in. So there was no way for me to just let Carson go outside without worrying. So I've just been loving having this area for him and having that freedom. I'm not 
I've recently discovered e-cloths thanks to all my subscribers and your recommendations. I have heard of this thing before, but I just never had any faith in it. I thought there was no way that it would really do that good of a job just by wetting a rag in some water. But these things are amazing and I'm a true believer now. I've been using them on every single surface in my home ever since investing in them. And I'm just so happy with them, especially with the stainless steel cloth, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. But spoiler alert, it actually gets my stainless steel streak free, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I have been just battling with the stainless steel appliances in my apartment and how crazy streaky they are. But the e-cloths have worked miracles. So stay tuned for that. I also do have a link in my description box if you guys are interested in checking out e-cloths for yourself. This is not sponsored by them but I just believe in them so much and I think that everybody out there needs these in their home. Finally, the best part of the video is showing you guys my e-cloths on stainless steel appliances. This is what made me a true believer in them. I just can't even believe how well they worked. All you do is put them under the hot tap water and wring them out and there you go. You're ready to go. There's no chemicals. I just think it's amazing. I've been using the Wyman's stainless steel cleaner on all of my appliances since I moved in and that was the best that I had found. And then the e-cloths just totally blew them out of the water. So I wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers who recommended them to me because I've never been happier with the state of my stainless steel in this apartment. And like I said, I do have a link in my description box. If you guys wanna check out e-cloths, I promise you they're totally worth it. And like I said, this is not sponsored by them. I just really truly believe in them and if they work for me, I promise you they will work for you too. I get really cold when I'm working from home, I think just from sitting still for so long on my laptop, so I've been plugging in my electric blanket and wrapping it around myself while I'm working. If you were wondering why that was on the floor. But next, I'm just going to clean up the windowsills, Carson likes to climb on them so they get a little bit fingerprinty, kind of gross, and my cat also climbs on them. Then I also wanted to clean off Carson's table. He doesn't eat here super often, but he does do crafts and things, so we tend to get like Play-Doh and just crayon shavings and everything else all over this table, and it's just good to wipe it down.
Next, I wanted to vacuum my floors and then also steam mop them, but I first needed to clean up all of Carson's toys. It wasn't quite nap time yet, but I do like to clean up his toys periodically throughout the day and kind of have a fresh start. I feel like it just kind of keeps him happier, it keeps me happier, it just feels like we're not living in a mess all day long. And I feel like he's more likely to play with a variety of his toys when we do that. But if there's just a whole bunch of stuff out first thing in the morning and it doesn't get cleaned up all day, I feel like it honestly frustrates him and it makes him not want to play with anything. So next, he and I are both vacuuming. He has his little Dyson toy vacuum. He does this every single time I vacuum around him and it's so cute because he genuinely believes that he's helping me. Carson has like the kindest most loving, nurturing soul. It just kills me. And he just wants to help in any way that he can. Still got your pearls hanging by my bed. Some paper in the trash I never knew Love could be so sweet I never knew It would sting I never knew Love like this would leave Me in pieces Oh, While I had my vacuum out, I just wanted to vacuum my couch really quickly. I have to do this pretty frequently because Carson does get snacks and crumbs and things on my couch. He also is super into dinosaurs and sharks and has a whole bunch of little figures. He has like an inventory in his mind of every single one that he owns and they tend to fall between the couch cushions quite a lot and he panics because he knows specifically which one he's missing and he doesn't let it go until we find it. So a lot of the times when I'm vacuuming the couch, I will find a whole bunch of his dinosaurs and sharks and he is just thrilled to have them back. I've decided that sidewalk chalk is the worst thing that's ever existed. Carson loves it though and he specifically loves it when he gets it all wet and it becomes a gigantic mess. He gets it all over the bottom of his shoes and then he will walk right into the apartment and get chalk absolutely everywhere on the rug, on the floor. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning chalk up. I finally had to make the chalk disappear and say that I don't know where it went because the mess was just getting so bad. So I think he's just not ready for chalk at this point in time and it's something that we'll have to use when we're not outside on the patio with water and he's being supervised because the mess is so bad and chalk stains. The next thing I needed to do was throw in a load of laundry. I needed to clean Carson's things. He's fully potty trained now, but that means we do have accidents. So I feel like we go through laundry like crazy. And then I also wanted to work on tidying up the entryway. This area is just so hard to get under control right now because I don't have a coat closet or anywhere to put the shoes or the jackets. So trying to keep this area organized is difficult. I'm hoping at some point in time I can get some sort of a piece of furniture to store all of those things so they're not just out. And then I also have Carson's stroller as you can see here and that would typically be in the back of my car, but it was inside on this day. That is the hardest part of moving into an apartment is trying to figure out how to downsize a lot of the things that you have and just coming up with creative ways to organize. I actually have an apartment kitchen organization video coming up really soon that I'm so excited about. I'm going to show you guys some creative ways that I've thought of 
to help organize my kitchen. So if you have an apartment or if you just have a small kitchen, this video is for you. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you come back when I post that video. It should be up within the next few weeks so that I can give you lots of ideas and hacks on organizing your small kitchen. The next room that I needed to clean was Carson's bathroom. I feel like this bathroom has been the star of the show for my last several videos and that is because trying to teach a almost three-year-old bathroom hygiene is just not easy and I feel like this bathroom more than any other room besides my kitchen um, needs a lot of attention. So I'm just going to clean that up. I'm using my thieves cleaner on the mirror and then I'm disinfecting everywhere else. I'm also cleaning up Carson's potty in the toilet and then I'm going to move on to cleaning the shower doors. The shower itself really wasn't dirty but the shower doors were starting to get kind of soap scummy looking so I cleaned those with my thieves cleaner and they were shiny as new. I mentioned in my last video how this brown bottle is full of thieves cleaner because I do get questions about what is inside of it and I was saying that I really do love the thieves cleaner and I understand that it's not as powerful as like a bleach cleaner or a Clorox wipe or something like that but I do think there's a time and a place for the heavy duty cleaners and that for an everyday basis using the more natural stuff is the way that I would prefer to go. So here I'm cleaning my shower door. This just worked wonders. My shower door was completely shiny and clean after this. You could just see right through it. I didn't see any soap scum or anything remaining after cleaning it and it was really really easy. So I would highly recommend using thieves on things like windows, shower doors, and mirrors. The next thing that I needed to do was fold a load of laundry or two or three loads of laundry. I have totally fallen off the laundry bandwagon and I feel like it's been just months where I will fold and then I'll let it get completely behind for like a week or two at a time. I just hate doing it and I think I'm going to try to do the Kanmari method on my drawers pretty soon on mine and Carson's drawers. Because I think maybe if I fold it in a better way, I will enjoy folding a little bit more. I'll get more satisfaction out of it and maybe I will look forward to doing it. But for right now, I just dread it and I'm trying to think of a way to make myself hate it a little bit less. So that's the end of this week's video. I hope that this video gave you a ton of cleaning motivation and I hope that the weather is beautiful where you are because seriously the weather just dictates my mood and I'm sure it's like that for a lot of people. I hope that you're all doing well and you're staying safe and healthy during this difficult time. 
do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It really helps my channel out a lot. Be sure to come back really soon because like I said, I'm going to be posting my apartment kitchen organization and I honestly think this video could be for anybody. If you have a small kitchen, an apartment kitchen, even a big kitchen, there's something for everyone and I'm so excited to bring that video to you guys. So be sure to turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss it. And thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me and I hope that I will see you in my next video. Just watch me break